Okay, so let's let's really start. Well, hopefully, this one is a good one. So let's start with this uh, Kendra G video. <sighs> All right, let's check it out. Oh, oh my gosh, Kendra! Oh, I love your show. I love, love, love your show. Thank you, baby girl. What's your name, honey? My name is Erica. Erica, where are you calling me from, boo? I am calling you from North Dallas. Texas. North Dallas. Erica, North Dallas. How old are you? 49. You look great. You're 49? 49, yeah. Oh, my. I said it. I mean, she doesn't look bad for 49, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. As women get older, they it's more of a red flag, okay? Because as women get older, and they're still on the dating market, right? They're still looking for somebody. The high likelihood is that they are hard to deal with. Okay? The men that has dealt with them can't deal with them for long. And, and or their standards are ridiculous. You know, right? For what they, for who they are, they don't. They have ridiculous standards, right? So they choose men. And they deal with men that don't fit their standards. But they don't attract men that can fit their standards. So their standards or their standards or preferences or whatever are ridiculous. So all that just marks a woman as a huge red flag. So, and I've said it in uh, I've said it in other videos. Dating, okay, getting a man is easy for a woman. And it should be easy for a woman, okay? But if you're in your late your late fit 40s and you still can't find a man, that's got to say something about you. That for so many years, when it should be easy to get a man, you couldn't even find one man. You couldn't find a one man to spend the rest of your life with. So, you're still in the dating market, still searching. That, that That's a red flag because it's got to say something about you. That you're just most likely hard to deal with. Okay? So, we'll see. Black don't motherfucking crap. <laughs> you're 49? I'm 49. You I have a really good brother, so... What do you do for a living? I am a, a corporate executive. Corporate executive. You have any children? I have twin grown children. So, no yeah, how many? Twins, like just two. How old are you? How old are they? 20. Mm -hmm. 20. Have you ever been married, Erica? I have. <laughs> when did you get divorced? Uh, 2018. 2018. Okay. We're nosy. You don't got to tell us, but why did you get divorced? Oh my gosh. Um, you have to tell us if you don't. Yeah, want to. No, I don't mind at all. Like, um, yeah, uh, let's just say my ex, he. I kind of feel like Kendra, for the show purpose, she should dig in deeper. Because, you know, it's part of the dating process, you know? So why not let the people get to know, you know, certain um, personal things off the bat? It would be good to know. Loves women, a lot of them. So. Oh, right. oh, okay, okay. How how many years were you married for? Oh, we were together. We met the first day of college, so we were together twenty six years, married fifteen of those. Oh wow! Did you always love women? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that says it. <laughs> that is a red flag on her. This is the thing with women, right? You choose, quote unquote, terrible men. You marry them. You get into a relationship with them. You give them kids. You give them years of your life. You, In most cases, you give them your youth. So now that you, you gave a terrible man your youth, um, your 
you know, your womb, all this stuff, right? Now, years later, old, trauma filled, you know, you're out on the dating market again. That's, that is not a good thing. That is a red flag. What man wants to deal with that kind of thing, right? You are a, a poor judging character, okay? You wasted your life on a man who you don't deem worthy, right? You, you, I mean, or you don't deem worthy for long. You knew, this is what I'm saying, women ignore red flags. And this is why I want to make these videos, you know, because we should, we as men should not ignore red flags. And it depends on where you want to go for it, right? If you see this woman as, I don't know, Sexual fun, fine, whatever, right? But if you want commitment from women, right? You want long-term commitment. Well, you have to um, develop skills to see these red flags and notice what are red flags. Dig in deeper with things, right? A woman of 49, it's automatic red flag, okay? Now, you dig in deeper, you know, you, you figure out why, is, why do I see this as a red flag? Well... Here's a woman, right? She's been around there, right? She's 49. Um, most likely trauma-filled. Because as women get older, they only get more trauma. They don't get less. I mean, if you're lucky, they don't get more trauma, right? I mean, they don't. They, they stay consistent in their trauma, right? They stay consistent in their um, mental problems, okay? That... There's more shitty shit don't happen to them, right? But it's highly unlikely. You know, you get more jaded. Uh, you get harder to deal with, right? You, you, so, you know, it's just... You got you to gotta look at the big picture. I believe it. So, Erica Nortel is 49, corporate executive. What's your zodiac sign? I am a Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, boo, what kind of man are you looking for? Oh, my gosh, Kendra. I got a list. Okay. I'm looking for a God-fearing, optimistic, like you cannot be gloom and doom, clouds everywhere. Another red flag, woman that's asking for God-fearing men. It is ridiculous. You divorce your husband. I'm pretty sure God doesn't promote divorce. Yeah, you divorce a cheater, right? Great, but you knew it coming into the marriage. So really, why even divorce him? I mean, it's like, it, it just don't make sense. And why divorce him? What you said, 8, 2018? In your mid-40s. It's like, where's the, where's the, this woman is a CEO, right? Of some company. Where's the intelligence in that? Because if it's going to end anyway, right? If the, if the marriage is going to end anyway, okay, then divorce him in your 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 twenties. She says she got him within college. She could have divorced him in her er, late twenties, early twenties, or mid twenties. This is the thing with with women that are, are are red flags, okay? It's like it's ridiculous. Um, I need somebody who's faithful. Uh, I need a man who is not a whole ass hoax. I hope I can say that uh, because I was, I was, I've been in a relationship after divorce as well, but I'm finding that men have side chicks. You have to ask them if they're single, single, because just single anymore does not mean anything. It's crazy. This is the thing, right? She's 49. She don't qualify for good men. I, I don't think so, right? It, it will be... It's very hard for her to qualify for good men. Because what man is going to look for a 49-year-old who's a divorcee, right? Who's... She's a CEO, right? You're going to have a certain type of personality. You're going to definitely have certain type of standards, right? We're, we're going to get into it. We're going to see what kind of, you know, other standards she has. You're hard to deal with. Right? What good man is going to deal with that? 
What men will deal with that is men that's wanting to have sex. Men just want you for sexual release. Those are the type of men that will deal with that. Okay? That's what I'm saying, right? Good men, they have boundaries. They have preferences, right? They're, gonna, they're not going to just look for just sex. They're not. Because, you know, you can find it, right? It's not, it's not the, the hardest thing in the world. But good men that wants relationship, well, they're going to have standards. And I doubt this woman fits, you know, good, decent men's standards. It's crazy. Um, uh, they need to be non-smokers, attractive. They need to love God, love travel. Um, I like clean cuts. So I like, you know, I like a guy who's kind of preppy looking. Um, yeah, they need to have a great smile. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Ooh, uh, smokers. Uh, men who are um, not driven, if they're lazy, like I have a whole lot of drive. Like if you could see my vision board up there, like I, I'm going places, I, I am, I'm, I'm successful. They need to be driven. They need to have like a growth mindset. They need to be able to hold conversation. So I see, that's what I'm saying, right? At 49, do you even qualify for a man that has ambition and drive? Do you need even qualify for men that, you know, are more likely, right, well off? Because I'm, she, says she's, she says that she's CEO of plenty of time. You know, a man that has the money to travel often. But you think about this, right? A man of 49. You know, if she's dating men her own age, men are 50. Well, they can go for... I'm, I'm not saying, like, men like that should go for women that in their 20s, but they can go for women that's in their 30s. Women that are 35, women that are 39. Hell, women that are 40. But they have the options to pick what women are easier to deal with. Less of a headache. They... Men of, I believe, a certain caliber, which being a CEO, she's probably looking for that type of man of a certain caliber. Well, he wants a girl to, he wants a woman to follow his lead. He's not following her lead. And this is the thing, right? I think as a CEO, she's, she probably has a masculine energy to her. Okay? So. Um, they can't lack drive. They can't be needy. Uh, so if a guy needs constant, like, you know how narcissistic men need you to feed their ego all the time, like, I cannot. I, I just, like, I'm willing to compliment you. I will love on you hard if I love you. But if you are needy or really emotional, I, I, I have friends whose men, their man cries all the, like, no, no, let's stop. Let's don't do that. Okay. Any, any, was that the end of the deal breakers? Uh, it, porn addicts. Oh my gosh, the freaks out there. Stop, stop. Like no, if you if you frequent the strip club, if you're on Pornhub or any of the hubs, that's a no. That's a no. Okay. Um, does he have to look? Well, well, she she doesn't she doesn't fit people men's sexual desire then, right? She, I'm I, I doubt she's all that um, sexually. You know freeing or well I don't even think she qualifies for that then right she's not gonna you know um quenches men's sexual desires so really it's like what it's like sometimes I think like for women right what's the point why would a man we'll see when Kendra asked that question why would a man wants to be with you um you're 49 you're not going to get married. It's highly unlikely. Ain't going to have kids. Okay. A travel buddy. Why would he, what? It's like sometimes women are ridiculous in thinking that men want travel buddies. They don't. Men. Men. Um, don't. They're not avid travelers. And the men that do travel a lot. Which those type of men are. You know. Either. Either they're very young. Or they're very well off. And those men, well, 
I'm pretty sure they're not looking for 49 year olds. I, I just think that women like this, right? They have very little to offer to the type of men that they're asking for, right? That's, that's, the, that's the key, right? Women like this have very little to offer the men that they want, okay? That's, that's the thing that women like this don't understand. You don't offer anything special to the men that you want. A certain way. Yes. Okay. So this man needs to be attractive. So I have a thing, Kendra. Mm -hmm. I have to. I have to be able to imagine kissing a guy. If I look at a guy and I can't imagine intimately kissing him, then no, absolutely. Like you know what? That's what I think, right? Why she got with the player type? Why she married the bad boy player type? She got with a man that more more than likely was an attractive man. A man that fits into the player bad boy type. And this is, you're 49. You, you, you don't see the pattern. This is the thing, what, what, like what I said, right? As they get older, they are harder to deal with, right? They're, they're stuck on their, um, uh, the cycle, right, of trauma. You and she, I think she said it too. Where she's still, even after the divorce, she still dates these type of men. Okay, you want really attractive men. Then you say, oh man, these men have like side chicks and all these things. They only want sex and stuff. You you want to build a man, right? You want to go to the store to build a man. Okay, you want really attractive men, really ambitious men, most likely six figure men. And you want them to be faithful to only you. The hypocrisy and delusion in that. Okay? You want the perfect man to be only have eyes for you. What does he get in return? A 49-year-old who's been there and done that. Okay? A 49-year-old CEO who more than likely is, I believe, probably has a masculine energy. Probably trauma field. Um... Uh, poor judging character, right? I, I think poor character herself. So, the list could go on. I, I don't think she's she's not qualified for good men, but she's stuck on bad boy player types. So really, it's like she's cho she will stay single and die alone. She's the epitome of that. And I believe her success is another attribute to uh, the nail in the coffin for her. It's it's just a test. No. Okay. So yeah. They have to be attractive, yes. And they need to be taller than me. I'm 5'8". They don't have to be 6'3", six, 6'4", six, but they can't be shorter than me. Okay. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Yes. So I know people people get raked over hot coals on this show for saying this, but look here, Kendra, I'm telling you, I cannot yes, they need to they need to they need to be significantly into the six figures. So yes. Significantly. So hundred K is not even good enough. It needs to be more. Um it's not that I look, I don't part of my problem and I'll get to the flaws, is that I have I have attained a certain level of success and it just becomes real dicey oh. and makes a whole lot less than you it, it, it's not me it's they become insecure like it, it gets crazy so i i just think that with the lifestyle like i love love traveling um i'm in the prime of my life i'm ready to do great things you're not in the prime of your life you're 49 you're not in your prime you might be in your prime of your money right but you're not in the prime of your life. This is this is the thing, right? This is the women, right? The women that all men in the whole man's um, sphere, manosphere talks about. This is the woman, right? And here, like, look, look at this, right? You, 
you get these women. They're very common. Very, very common. Okay? Here's a woman that is... She is the victim of her own success. That's hypothetically, right? A man that makes 300,000, 300, right? He's a 300K man, okay? I am probably lowballing it because I'm pretty sure she... Maybe she wants a half a million man or to a million, million dollar man, right? She's 49, a man that makes even at the low end like 300k he could get a 39 year old he could get a 29 year old he can marry any one of those right he can marry a whole spectrum of women and not just marry he could he could have relationships with all these other women nothing about her is all that special this is the thing where women don't understand, right? You want to, you are the one who wants a man with money and success and ambition. Men don't. Men do not find that attractive because it does not benefit a man whatsoever. Women require men with money because all this supposed thing, oh, he's insecure if I make more than him, which is ridiculous, right? It's because you treat him lesser than you if he makes money, if he makes less than you. It's not because, oh, it's like, it's ridiculous because if he came into it, right, thinking that, okay, fine, you make more than me, whatever, you know, help me out, treat me, you know, be that position, be the position, be the one who paid the dates. No, because then you will look down on the man, right? You, this is the one thing that a lot of women don't understand is that when you make more than the man, it's not because he's insecure because you make more than him. He's insecure or he's in his feelings because you treat him like lesser than you, right? You view him as lesser than you. Women never say that. Women never see that aspect. No, I'll, I'll, I'll treat him the same. No, you don't. You don't treat him like if he was a man that made more than you. No, you wouldn't. You'd literally treat him like he's a man that makes less than you. That he is less than you. This is what. Uh, that's why I said. Another red flag like this one. Man. And. It is so ridiculous. That. Sh at 49. You even think. You even think. That you. Would attract. These type of men for. Long term commitment. Because you got to think about this right. She's a CEO. She makes a lot of money. So more than likely, she's surrounded by men that make equal to her or more than her. And yet none of these men are attracted to her long term. Or or let's say this. The men that she she says she's dated, right? Maybe these men are the ones that are surrounding her. Only treat her like a side chick. Or treat her like, you know, a situation chick. This is the thing where women don't understand. All, all she has is her body, her looks. And to sound that she's not really that highly sexual, right? So there's probably a limit to that with those men. This is the thing where women don't understand that. Where, I, I get it. I guess Kendra will be just, she will be... Kind. She would let them talk and just let them do their thing. But this is a thing what women don't understand. Where no one's holding them accountable. No one's holding a mirror to them. So they could see the shit that they're doing. At 49, she's probably madly successful. Very, very rich. Just take up the position of a man then. Right? Right? You, you, it's funny that you want a manly man. Well, a manly man won't be dealing with another man. Okay? She's pretty much the man in the relationship. Right? Making a lot of money. Uh, a CEO. Probably a type personality. It's just... She fits the category of... You know... The masculine role. And I think, right? 
the men that can overcome that are the players and the bad boys because they are more I don't give a shit kind of type of men, right? They will put they will kind of put you in their place because they will be overly man I guess masculine or maybe toxic in a sense, but they will probably be masculine. Uh, they will probably make you feel girly, I, I guess. Um, but because they don't care, right? Because they will have other women to deal with. So you are not that special to them. That's why it's no surprise that she married the bad boy, the player. And even after the, you know, the marriage, right? She still dates those type of men. And multiple, we're building empires over here. So yes, I will stick to that. Okay, fair enough. Um, it's a challenge I, I really feel for because you want this man to be a black man, right? Uh, I prefer. Yeah, I think just the challenge is, and I totally get the request from from boss women as a boss woman myself. It's just the amount of men to go around for every boss woman who also wants him to be faithful and you know all those things. And then with that guy, not necessarily always putting your money at the forefront. So I understand the desire of it. I do. Like there's no pushback from that. The question just becomes is, is there enough boss black men to partner up with every boss black woman and that wants to be monogamous? I think that's where the, that's where the challenge comes apart. That is that is so true, Kendra. And, and I was once told by a guy that if, look, you're going to always be single because every guy who's 6'3 and has it going on, he's got a side chick, even the ones that say they don't. And I told him, I, I'm trusting in God that he is going to deliver a man unto me that doesn't need a side chick. Uh, so, you know. Another woman that is hoping God drops a man in her lap. This is the thing. She's hoping that... This is, this is the thing, right? Women are hoping high-value men to be high moral men, right? Very moral men. It's like, again, high-value men, I believe purely... they men, These men are purely money. Add in maybe looks as well, right? Uh, exterior. They're, pr they're pretty much exterior type of men. No, no, no morality. Maybe no character as well. And yet, women from a twenty-one-year-old to the forty-nine-year-old are after these type of men. So, why would these men, right? These high-value men that are so desired by practically all age of women need to settle down with you? Why? It, it don't see this is the thing with like women they don't understand when she was 19 29 herself well probably she she got with a boy from her her husband after college so when she was 19 okay she didn't need to settle down then right she had the pick of the litter this is the thing with women don't understand when you are truly at your prime, when they are truly an abundance of, let's say, partners that would want to be with you, that would put you on the pedestal, that would, that you are then the prize that they want to have, why would you settle down, right? Why would you just pick one man to be with? Women don't. Not at, not at their true prime. Not at their 19 to... You know, 30. Okay? Or 18 to 30. At pr pretty much women's prime. Maybe a little bit under, but pr pretty much at a woman's true prime. Right? Where men are like dying to be with you. So now at 49, well, you're, you're not making any man die to be with you. You're pretty much asking for men, for the type of man that practically all women are asking for. So really, here's another black woman that will stay single 
and die alone. Just like her, the male friend she said. Uh, the male friend she had that tried to give her a wake-up call, but obviously she's another pig-headed black woman. Okay? The boss B that will pretty much die alone. You know, and I'm not asking that a man makes a certain amount of money because I need his money. Part of my flaws is that I'm overly independent and I say things like I don't need a man. Like I've been making it work and I saw somebody said I have two kids. I have two 20 year olds and they are in college. I like I don't have small kids. I can go and do whatever I want at this point in my life. So, um, yeah, but no, I um, a couple I don't things real quick. I didn't say first of all, I want to say I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm in cheap. So let's start there. I don't think I'm in cheap. So let's start there. Thank and you. I didn't say that, but I said that y'all don't even need me for this. Like y'all don't need me for this dose of reality. Like y'all be getting mad at me for saying facts that y'all are witnessing every day. Think of all the women you know, and then think of how many of them are potentially single. And then I think mean. of how many women have that guy, like. I'm not saying, I didn't say that she couldn't have this man. I was saying that I understand why boss women want to date a man that makes more or the same. All I was saying is that real, not realistically, statistically, if every boss woman, is there an equal for every boss woman? That's all that I was saying. I wasn't saying that men, somebody was saying I said that all men cheat. I don't actually, I know all men don't cheat, but that's neither here nor there. Um, back to you. Well, that's the thing, right? Yeah, all men don't cheat. But that doesn't change the fact that do you even qualify for the type of men that you want? I said it. I just said it, right? The man that you want, why would he want you? Like, literally, 49. I mean, like, I, I'm pretty, like, why would he want a decently older woman? Why? When he can put a, a truly decent younger woman a woman that this is the thing right she said it herself she's madly independent whoop dee right? not no surprise there that she's madly independent like i said women like this they are pretty much the man that they want to be they want to date okay she's madly independent she don't need no man uh, although she she the man better make a lot of money but she don't need him which is ridiculous because he will have to follow her schedule. Her, it will be her her way or the highway. Shit like that. This is what I'm saying, right? As women get older, they, they are the epitome of it's their way or the highway. Right? They will, it, it's, you will follow their lead or you will leave. That's, that's the thing women don't understand. That's that. That's the thing. What I said. It's a red flag to date, to be with older women because usually, if they don't get with and if older women are still on the dating market, there's a reason why, because of this type of this A type personality, right? This boss B, right? You're the boss. You're the boss. There can't be two bosses of a company. There isn't, right? There's a boss and others underneath him, or underneath the person right but that's the thing there's not two presidents two kings two prime ministers two whatever to lead a relationship this woman preaches i need a god fearing man but she's not a submissive woman she's not a woman that follows the lead of a man so red flag this is the this is the thing women don't, women don't understand. She is a red flag, right? Because she is not the things that she that that she's pre she's saying. Okay, she's not uh, she's not a god fearing woman. She's not submissive, right? She's most likely hard to deal with. She's not attractive in the personality department. So. When you're not attractive in the personality department, you don't qualify for long-term commitment for, for men. You don't. When you're attractive in the looks department, you're you qualify for sexual, you know, you know, sexual conquest. That's that's the thing women don't understand. Her personality is garbage, right? It is. 
Because it's you don't bring a man piece, and there's better options, especially for the type of man that these women are asking for. There will always be better options for these men. Erica, okay. when was your last relationship? Uh, in 20, February 2021, so about three and a half years ago. Okay. Would you date older? I will date older, yes. What's that? What's your age range? But like up to about 55, I really, I want to grow old with someone. So I really don't want someone who's like 60 and above. Like I'll, I'll maybe go up to 57. Okay. You, you've been married before, right? Yes. So you want to get married again? I do. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It is utterly utterly ridiculous that 49 year olds are asking for marriage and it's even more ridiculous that they're asking for marriage again at 49 uh, seriously it's like and again from the men that you're asking for you're ridiculous what high value man which is she basically asking for would want to marry a 49 year old Okay? Why? Why would he? Uh, what's the point of him marrying her? To do what? Men would marry, right? They will risk marriage for children. Not for what? There's no benefit. Absolutely zero benefit for men in marriage. Men will take the risk of marriage because of creating a family. Everything he could get, he could just get from boyfriend girlfriend status. Right? Hell, the things that, a lot of things that men would want, situationships would be good enough for them. S especially for this woman, right? For what she qualifies for, she qualifies for situationships. It is ridiculous that this woman is. She's deluded. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? It's been a while. Um, it's been a while. That's. I'll. I'll leave it there. It's been a while. You leave it there. Okay. And what are three flaws you have to work on? Oh my gosh! Let me go back to my list. Um, so. One is, like I said, I, I'm overly independent. I know men have a, they really want, they want to feel like they're rescuing someone. And I'm just not that chick who is waiting on a man to swing in and rescue them. And, um, and I know that I need to convey more of the feminine energy of allowing the man to rescue me. Well, I, I've said it, right? I guarantee you. This woman is the epitome of the man that she wants to date. I guarantee you, besides her look, she, I don't think she has a feminine personality. And this is only like surface level, but I mean, I guarantee you how she really is, it's not feminine at all. So, I mean, I've done my own great jobs like long ago. Like I used to, like I grew up having to be really independent. Um, and so, because I have a great dad, he taught me how to do all these great things, but um, I'm just overly independent. I think what I've been through in relationships, it has caused me to go, I'm never gonna be dependent on a man in any way. And that is something I need to work on. I need to soften that. Um, I'm super picky and I've been told uh, that I'm unapproachable sometimes. I don't know what face I'm wearing, but if, when I'm in settings, when I'm in like group settings, I think I wear a face. I hope not, but I mean, I smile a lot. I don't, I have no clue. Um, but I think I need to work on, I need to work on um, being more approachable. Being more approachable. Okay. And why would a guy be like to be with you, Erica? Oh my gosh, I'm in the prime of my life. Kendra, I am in, I'm living my best life. Um, I love God. I have a great sense of humor. I'm ambitious. I have a growth mindset. Um. What the fuck? She probably literally describing the man that she wants. A growth mindset? 
How is that even attractive to a man? Ambitious. What the fuck? The men care about you being ambitious. You love God. Great for you. Okay? Um, prime of your life, you're not. You're probably in the prime of your money. Right? This is the thing when women confuse. Right? You are not at your prime. Okay? Uh, your body, your age, your fertility, your, you know, your purity. You're not at your prime. At least not... It's, it's like... At least not in a man's eyes, right? This is a woman. This, this is the problem with women. I believe she equates her prime to exactly what a man would equate. His prime financially. His prime freedom, you know, and, and financially free. She's pretty much the man that she wants to be with. And no man is looking to date that. This is the this is the delusion of modern women. I mean, she's forty nine, so she's she's became a modern woman. Um, I'm a great cook, so I'm from. I grew up in Louisiana, so I can cook all of the like the gumbos and the and the red beans and rice and the pot roast. Like I'm a great cook, a uh, great conversationalist. Uh, I, I'm a hustler. Like I want to build a kingdom with someone. I'm positive. Um, I, you know, I'm a believer in if you fall, get back up, keep going. So I've been through a lot of uh, of things in life, and I've overcome them all because God's track record is 100%. He brings you through every time. So uh, I just I, I just think I'm a great catch, and I'm nice. I'm a I'm a really sweet person, Kendra. I just keep running into hoaxes. I think you're dope. Can you do the Kendra Kim? I almost forgot. That reminded me. Ooh. Okay. Your star says bougie? Yes, it's from my online boutique called mybougielife.com. Okay, you look in great shape. I mean, you look amazing for 49. Like, I did not, you do not get 49 at all, child. And what's your zodiac sign? You're, oh, so you'll be 50 this year? I'll be 50 in January. I'm Capricorn. Oh, January, January. Okay, gotcha. Got I mean, Wait a minute. The year of 50. Kendra is coming. Oh my gosh. Wait on. <laughs> you look Wait amazing. Beautiful skin. You're in shape. Listen, and Erica, it's all about you. But so I, it was the comments were moving so fast, but there was a comment. I wish I could get the name, but it was going so fast. But someone said, Kendra G is a pick me. You haven't got that by now. What does pick me ever even mean? That men pick me? That's true. Men do pick me. Are you mad that you don't get picked? I'm so confused. Like, I don't get it. What, am I supposed to be offended that men pick me? Are you mad that men don't pick you? I wish I wanted to say the name, but it went too fast. Child, that's why some of y'all gonna be single forever, child. I don't and it's like, look at this, right? On a singles dating show, being picked by a man is an insult. Women think one of the most insulting thing to call another woman is being selected by men. The, the delusion in that. So, if you have a man, is that an insult now? It's ridiculous. Women, women are absolutely, absolutely, utterly ridiculous. You understand? Like y'all be saying insults so don't even make any damn sense. I'm the man. I'm the excuse me. I'm the woman that men pick, and I'm supposed to feel offended by that. I mean, get picked. That's that's the problem. Nobody don't want your ass. Nobody don't want your ass, and you think and you think the insult is saying nobody wants me because nobody picked me, and that's the compliment. It's, you're the insult. You don't even realize it. Girl, back to you. Let me stay focused, child, for our cousin. I live for your I live for your clapbacks, Kendra. Child, oh my God! Tell you Run something. and clap back. Let's go. Y'all, child, child, please. Let me back to you, Erica, because I don't want to get sidetracked. All right, <laughs> Erica, I think you're dope. I mean, oh, honestly, you. do. So how can the guy reach I don't. out? I know. Uh, my IG. She's not dope. This woman is not dope whatsoever. It's ridiculous. She's not. So it's. I think it's ridiculous. Absolutely, utterly ridiculous. Um, I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But this, I don't think so. This is a woman that will 
you know, stay single and die alone. It's plainly simple. She'll, she'll, this is what I'm saying. I, I, I'm not saying that women at pretty much any age can always find a man. But can you find the man that you want? Can you find a man for commitment? That is the question, right? That is, that is the thing. You can't. That, see, that's the, that's the, the caveat, right? You can always find a man to have sex with you. Always, right? 49, 50, 55, 60, whatever, right? There will always be a man out there that will want to have sex with you. It's just how it is. Men are like that. But can you find the man that you want to commit to you long term? You can't. You won't. So what? You will stay single and die alone. Just how it is. So it is what it is. Anyway, um, well, well, that's it. What do you guys think, huh?